Hi my fellow YouTubers, this is just an update on how I'm doing with my Bissell Power Force Helix Vacuum. This is our third day using this. Um, and as you can see here, we have, we're cleaning, cleaning it because our vacuum has a lot of hairs from the carpet. Um, we do have two girls here in this house, so they both have long hair and um, all the hair gets uh, stuck in this vacuum. So we have to clean this brush and I think this is one of the reasons maybe our old Bissell Power Force Compact Vacuum uh, did not work. Um, it stopped working after like six months right away and you know these vacuums um, they do have good reviews uh, at the Walmart uh, website. Uh, that's the reason I, I keep on getting them because they have good reviews but I'm thinking this is what happens and w I never I never notice and I never know uh, knew how to clean this so uh, what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna clean every time I um, vacuum so I'm gonna try to keep this brush clean uh, see right now it's super super clean now and hopefully uh, it doesn't uh, stop working because last time it was the belt uh, it kept uh, ripping so we had to get a new one and I don't know how to replace them I have to get somebody else to replace them so it's a it's a kind of a hassle to be doing that so um, here is the hairball that we took out and this is uh, about this is what we had it was two months without a vacuum so this is what we got from all three rooms so yeah and all you do is you just press this button to release it from the vacuum and then press this other one to release and open the bottom so you can uh, bring out all this um, dirt from here And you can see from there, it's still clean. So you wanna keep it clean. Make sure you take out your dust from here every time you vacuum, if you want your Bissell to work. So now it's clean and this is how you do it. And it also has the button on here it shows you it says release button and then there's another button to remove and open the filter so you can clean it um so that's what you do you just put it in a bag open the button push the button i mean and then it opens and then it, re it releases all the dust into the bag and you don't have it all over the the air so yeah this is the way to do it um, if you have these trash bags from you know whatever the grocery store whatever you're not using instead of sometimes instead of recycling you can use them for this uh, I do recycle though but I do keep some of them for the trash and um, so yeah this one shows how to open it and then this other part opens as well so this is the lock and the unlock so you just twist and that's how you open that side and you can see it's still clean and then this one is for the so you can wash the filter you just pull up and it uh, unlocks and you wash the filter is right there on the top snap it back close it and you can put it back on your vacuum so yeah you can see uh, this one does hold more so I'm very happy with this one and I'm gonna try to keep it clean every time you know every time uh, I vacuum 
Uh, so I will try to show you next time. Uh, it, it was two months, so this is this is two months without vacuuming. So, uh, like I tell you, I don't really vacuum that much. And then you can just put it back snap it into place and i hope you guys like the video i hope this is helpful and you guys have a great day uh if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and do it if you like to and um give the video a like and thank you for watching bye bye